Okay, hello and welcome once again to the Northampton Town Career Mode on FIFA 21. Don't forget to like and subscribe and of course follow on Twitch. Link is always in the description. Kicking things off with the EFL Trophy quarterfinals against League 2's Forest Green Rovers. It's Southwood, Brites, Bolger, Deitch, Fiola, Corboa, Pollock, Watson, Adams, Holmes and Ashley Seal for this cup game. Ricky Holmes into the path of Benny, Ashley Seal. Here is Corboa now. Corboa, always good for getting in good positions. Here is Corboa. But he tries to go one step too far. Been the problem with Corboa, hasn't it? Oh, and we've been caught out here really badly. Stevens is through our goal. Southwood with a brilliant start one on one. Adams is going to have to keep it under control here. A frantic couple of minutes there. Pollock now can find Fiola. Into Ashley Seal, now Corboa loses the ball again. He's so prone to it, Corboa. Collins, Adams, over the top for Evans. First time ball into the path of Stevens, and this time he scores. Tenth minute, not long into the game at all, and Forest Green Rovers are taking the lead. Not what we want from this side at all. It's poor defending, as is per. Sweeney for Whitehouse. Chest it down. Now here's Adams. Adams can play a ball through. Here's Stevens again. And Southwood with another good stop. Boldrick can now get it away. But Scott Pollock who can charge forward. Pollock not sure what to go for here. So goes for Ashley Seal. Gets the return. Now here's Ricky Holmes who can turn himself. Benny Ashley Seal into the area now. Goes for goal. Palmed away by the keeper. Evans. The game has really calmed down after that early spell and the goal. But it's a bit of a mistake and we've given them the ball back. Here's Adams ball over the top for Evans. Looking to provide again. This time it's Whitehouse. Adams to Sweeney. Stevens can turn. Stevens scores again. This defensive tactic that we have has got to be looked at in the coming games. We can't be shipping goals this easily. Especially to poorer sides. It is 2-0 to Forest Green Rovers. Bernard. Being hounded. Stevens now. Sweeney. Stevens again. Intercepted by Bretez. And now here is Sean McWilliams. Neil. Can sneak the ball through just for Ashley Seal. Who's stronger than his defender. Ashley Seal. Bit of a scuff. But it's gone in the back of the net. It is 2-1 now. Half an hour to play. Plenty of time to turn this one around for the Cobblers. Great play from Neil to find that ball through. The strength of Benny Ashley Seal is impressive too. Weak finish, but it does avoid the keeper. Stevens. Great interception from Bolger. Here is now Sean McWilliams. Neil takes a touch, gets it out of his feet and bangs one. And it's a good stop from the goalkeeper. Goal kick, launch forward, but not very far in. Neil's got it. We have two men forward here. McWilliams plays the ball back for Ashley Seal. Force Neil wide, but Benny with a beautiful chip levels the score. BAS loves the cup. That's one thing we know about him. His cup performances are unstoppable. Great little chip. It's 2 2. Misalu can charge forward here for the Cobblers. Great pass wide for Ricky Corboa. Can he get this one right? Corboa square for Ashley Seal. Oh, it's decent enough defending to put him off. And Adams now will try and take this forward for Forest Green Rovers. Here is Whitehouse and now Sweeney. Chipped up to Matt. Taking the touch and it's away from Bolger. It's been given as a handball. And Forest Green Rovers have well we ruined their good advantage there but now Misalu from the free kick it's so poor Bolger commits a foul this is such oh god this is terrible ball over the top Misalu can now not quite get rid of it as he handballed it Adams plays on and there's Collins an absolute cluster a horrendous 
minute or so there leads to Faris Green's goal. It's it's just poor all over the shop from everyone involved. It really is bad. Ten seconds remain and Matt has the ball, chips it in away by Misalu, launched away by Fiola. And there is your full time whistle. It's not good enough from the Cobblers. It's very, very poor. Defensively all over the shop again. Tactically not good enough. Relying on bits of individual brilliance and mistakes to get in behind. We need to take a look at ourselves in the coming games for the rest of this episode. There's a great rating for Benny in there. But... Uh, that's all you got, I'm afraid. Just Benny. Fleetwood now at Southwood Mills, Horsewall, Masterson, Harriman, Hoskins, Honeyman, Watson, Holmes, Neil and Danny Rose. Horsewall with this short free kick. Watson into the path of George Neal. He's always going to look to create. Look at that from Neil. George Neal! Oh, yes! The Wonder Kid strikes again. Doesn't take long. To assert our dominance. Look at that little take right there. And then smashing it past the goalkeeper before he can even react. It's 1-0. Charlie Mulgrew chips it forward. It's poor and we will... No, we won't get it. He's going to break back for them. He's West Burns. Horsefall staying strong and wins the ball back and can play it to Ricky Holmes. Holmes into the path of Neil who gets there ahead of the defender. And now George Neil can travel forward. He's into the area now, Neil. Neil, square ball for Ricky Holmes. Ricky Holmes puts it in the corner. And just like that, it's Fleetwood, Neil, Northampton, Town 2. More brilliant play from Neil here. Getting the return pass for Ricky Holmes, who has a bit of a time to put it in the bottom corner. Picks his spot. Southwood goes short for Masterson. It goes down by two men very quickly. Puts the ball forward, nodded on by Honeyman. And just like that, we are in behind. Here is Danny Rose. Danny Rose, one-on-one, -on -one, square ball for Neil. It's three. Fleetwood are all over the shop. How quickly do we get in behind them there? One nodded effort from Honeyman. And suddenly, we're two-on-one. And it's a tap into the end for George. Here is Evans. Brings it down. Horsfall with another interception there coming out of defence. Ricky Holmes holding off Edwards. And he is away now. It could be four already. Ricky Holmes running through on goal. Ricky Holmes near post. It's four. The first time I can remember this season a defence being so open for us. We have been absolutely ruthless so far. Long may it continue. Ricky Holmes on the score sheet again. Burns. Here's Coots now. Into Jordan Rossiter. The former Liverpool midfielder now. Coots. That's a crack. It's pretty easy for Southwood. McKay with a corner. Get it away. I think it's Masterson, a combination of him and Watson that get rid of it. It's gone out for a throw in for Fleetwood Town. Fleetwood throwing it out to Stubbs. Back to McKay now. West Burns. Caps. Nice triangle of passes. And here's Evans with a little flick on for Rossiter. Trying to work a bit of space. Horsfall once again stepping out of defence. Taking the ball. And it's open once again. This time it's Watson for Rose. He sees Neil. Instinctive play. George Neil. Little dig. Hat trick. Five nil. Hat trick for the wonder kid. That ball from Danny Rose. How easy we've carved them open today. Not even half time and it's 5-0. Andrew playing the ball into Evans here. Cut back to Coots and into McKay. We're 5-0 up. A minute to half time. And we still can see a crap goal like that. 
It's so frustrating. So, so, so frustrating. Ball in behind, through the middle of us. And he's put it under the keeper. Boyle, into caps. Turns. Good challenge. Once again from Horsefall, I believe. Now Honeyman can play the ball into Hoskins, who once again is away from his man. It's time for Sam Hoskins to get in on the act here. Hoskins with his left foot, curls one into the far corner. Relentless cobblers. So proud of the way we're playing on the counter at the moment. We are at our best when we counter like this. And this time, it's Sam with a goal. Charlie Mulgrew standing over a free kick for Fleetwood. Goes for it! And it is brilliant. And it is Charlie Mulgrew. It's what you would expect from that man. A veteran, very, very good ball-playing defender. Great free kick. Disappointing, to say the least, though. Southwood. Launches one for Masterson, but oh, he's nicked ahead of him by Rossiter. Here's Camps. He's absolutely knackered, but still finds Paddy Madden. And Paddy Madden finds the back of the net. We scored six, but still managed to concede three. It's so bad from us. It's so, so bad. I don't even know what to say anymore. Things have to change here. Things have to change. Southwood launches one forward, and there is your full time whistle. Great offensively, horrendous defensively. George Neal walks away with the match ball. A hat trick for the 16 year old attacking midfielder. Three points is all that really matters, but defensively, we've got to sort ourselves out. Perfect 10 for George Neal there. Great rating in there for Ricky Holmes. Two. Nothing else, though. Especially not the defenders. Now, Doncaster, it's Southwood Mills, Horsfall, Masterton, Harriman, Hoskins, Honeyman, Miss Lou, Adams, Neil, and Rose. We are underway against Doncaster Rovers. A couple of touches for the defenders. Back to Joseph Mills, and now Christopher Miss Lou switching it for Michael Harriman. Honeyman. Here's Neil. Oh, they've left a gap there, and Danny Rose has found the gap. Rose finishes it past the goalkeeper, and just like that we lead. A lightning quick start for the Cobblers in this one. Neil gets the ball, finds a little gap, Rose runs into it. It's not the greatest finish, but it's in the back of the net. Harriman. Into George Honeyman, over to Christopher Missile. Honeyman collects again, now into Harriman. Hoskins gets out of his feet. It's a worldie of a cross. And it's a brilliant header from George Neal. One of those crosses that when you see it, you go, ooh, look at that. And it is perfect on the money for George Neal's head. Look at the way he delivers that. Oh, sublime, beautiful cross. Diving header finish. Lovely, satisfying goal. Och Beery. For Doncaster. James into Taylor. Ockenbeery again. Ockenbeery chips through for Tullock. And Southwood does just enough to put it behind. Great opportunity there for Doncaster. Horsefall. Oh, big mistake. Ockenbeery now on the ball. It's a two on one situation. Players getting back. Richards can't get much on it. Masterson almost gives it straight back to him. Southwood collects and throws it out quickly. Here is Joseph Mills to charge forward. There's a gap for Neil here. We're in behind just like that against Doncaster. And a little chip for Neil. It's 3 0. George Neil has another goal. It's a great assist as well, but still a lot of work to do for George. And it's another lovely little lofted finish to make it three. James for Doncaster, the left back. Goes back for Taylor. Might have a go here. Might have a little dribble. He does. He goes past one. Two. As a strike, it's well saved. But it falls straight for Ockenbeery. Because of course it does. And just like that, the clean sheet is gone. 
Clean sheets are very hot commodities in League One for us. And they're becoming very, 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 very harder to find. Here is Tulloch for Doncaster. Gets away from Mills. Going to dribble. Go backwards. But here's Whiteman now. They might have found a gap for Taylor. He takes a touch and hits it. And Doncaster have another one. Just like that, Doncaster are back in this game good and proper. 3 0 up, it's 3 2. And the way we defend, Doncaster are always going to get another opportunity. Forceful. Oh, that is shocking. That is a shocking pass. And now oh, here goes Ockenbeery. Oh, Southwood shouldn't have come for it. He had the angle against him there, Ockenbeery. Southwood came out. Chips him. It's an open goal when Southwood comes out in that manner. Very, very, very disappointing. It's 3-3. Three, three. Whiteman. Williams, quick turn. Through is the ball for Ocken. Berrien. 87th minute. Doncaster Rovers. Take the lead. We were 3-0 up. We are now losing 4-3 with a few minutes to play. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Just look at the midfield. Just nowhere to be seen. And the final action of this match will be an Ockenbeery chipped free kick as the header comes in from Taylor. And it soared over, thankfully, to spare our blushes even more. George Neal gets a good rating, but everyone else needs to take a long, hard look at themselves. Big changes are now coming. We've switched here to 3-5-2. It's Southwood, Horsfall, Masters and Harriman, Missilu, Neal and Honeyman in midfield with Mills and Hoskins wide, Ashley Seal and Rose as a partnership up top. Let's see how this goes for us with a more compact extra man in defence too. Here's Kirk. Chipped in toward Harriman who can head it past his own goalkeeper. says a lot doesn't it <laughs> Michael Harriman there with a such a poor header and it flies in the top corner a striker would be proud of that one Pickering for crew Wintle ball through from Mikel Mandarin he gets a second attempt I don't understand how many men do we want back there is six there in the middle to stop that ball from getting through to stop that shot and then to stop the rebound so bad right we're switching it up again mid game we're trying a diamond and seeing how that goes for us Missilu wide for Neil Neil into Rose quick counter is on here Neil lovely flick through now here is Danny Rose takes it on his left foot too easy for Jaskalainen Wintle ball over the top Mills has to win it and does here's Neil Chukwamika is on Great ball over the top for Rose if he can get there, and he does. Shrugs off the defender. Danny Rose! Hits it hard. Straight at the keeper. Goes above him. It's in the back of the net. Time is ticking away, but maybe, just maybe, there is time to gather the points. Phenomenal pass from Chuck Wamika. Great finish from Danny Rose. Not much time left. There is the full-time whistle. Caleb Chukwamika there with a promising little cameo. But it's not enough in this one. Ratings say there's a good match in there for Danny Rose. But other than that, look at Harriman, 4.7. Okay, now we play Hull. It's Southwood Mills, Horsfall, Matterson, Fiola, Missalu, Honeyman, Hoskins, Neal, Chukwamika and Rose. Sticking with this diamond, Fiola is in for Harriman. And we're seeing how this one goes. Honeyman is tackled. He's playing against his former club, of course. Wilkes could be away. You can see that Hull there are two points behind us in third place. Wilkes travelling forward. Honeyman getting back. Joshua Manuel into Smallwood. Here's Scott. 
Scott rolls it and Scott blasts it past Southwood. The last thing we needed to see early doors was Hull breaking down our defence. Simple enough for Hull, just like it is for almost every team that plays us. It's 1 0 Hull. Long launches one forward. One well by Miss Lewin. Here's Mills into Neil. Rose over to Chuck Wamika. Returns the ball for George Neal. Hits it hard and low across the goalkeeper. It's 1 1. Only takes about five minutes. And Caleb Chukwamika has another assist. Two in two appearances so far for him. Lovely reverse ball. Great finish. Masterson carrying the ball out of defence. Finds Danny Rose. Danny Rose going to charge forward a little bit here. Goes wide for Fiola. Fiola now. Brilliant ball. Chukwamika scores! He's not happy with the 2 1. He knows we're going to need more than that to win this one. Caleb Chuck will make you there. It scores a brilliant finish. The control on this volley to smash it across the floor and under the keeper. 2 1 Cobblers. Here's Abdullah Khan. Waits. Oh, he's gone past him. Oh, no, that's so poor again. Why is Danny Rose the furthest man back? Ahead of the midfielders. Why? Danny Rose chasing Adulakun. He, he buys the feint. Masterson tries to stop it, but it's in the back of the net. Southwood collects the ball here. We'll launch this one out for Honeyman. But, oh, Doherty steps in front of him. Here's Scott. Little flick to Batty. Back to Scott. Ball through for Adulakun. It's 3-2. It's embarrassing at the back. The coordination isn't there. It just isn't there. I don't know what to say for these people anymore. These lads at the back. God help them. Corner ball for the Cobblers. Here's George Neal. It's a great one. It's towards Danny Rose at the edge of the six-yard box. Back on level terms very quickly. Just before half-time. Nice to see. Non-stop goals in this first half. It is 3-3 three, three going into half-time. Smallwood. Scott. Scott finds half a yard. Blasts it. But Southwood palms it away well. Goes short here. Does the goalkeeper. Oh, it's so poor from Device. Chukwamika to Rose. Returns the ball. Caleb Chukwamika. Scores a goal. He scores again. Caleb's got another one. The youngster. Two goals. Two assists in two appearances. What a little hot streak he's on here. Fantastic play to win the ball back. Keeping the pressure on and then running through to score. Milinkovic. Time ticking away. It's 89th minute. We've got to hold on. Here is Tom Eves. Back heel. Horsfall doesn't get to it. Here is Emmanuel. Back into Eves. Eves now finds Milinkovic. And Hull, in the 90th minute, have gotten a point out of this one, at the very least, it looks like. A very dejecting, soul destroying way to end this episode. Hull City, snatch. A point when I thought we've done so well, especially young Caleb. It's a great finish. Only injury time remains now. Kick off. We are wide for Sam Hoskins, who is at right back. Plays the ball into McWilliams. We're going to burst through, but Sean can't get through the whole defence. And now we're on defence. Here is Emmanuel. Goes back for Jones. Oh, he's headed it straight to Chuck Wamiku, who knocks it down to Rose. Rose does a little chip ball through. Can Caleb get there? He does. Great touch as well. Chukwamika scores. Caleb Chukwamika scores. Chukwamika scores. Hat trick. Winning goal. Celebrations. In Hull. 
What has just happened? A phenomenal ball over the top. Has he got the pace and the strength? Yes and yes. And does he have the finish? Yes, once again. Caleb Chukwamika, hat trick. And Hull have put about a minute of time. 25 seconds. Five seconds left. Got to get it forward. Go backwards. Yes, we've won. An unbelievable game. Caleb Chukwamika takes home his match ball. He's got a hat trick. What a performance. Wow. A perfect 10 for Caleb. An 8.9 for Rose. Great rating for Neil too. We got through that one. Big, big three points to stay top of the league. And thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And be ready for the next episode. Thank you again, guys. See you next time.